Rick, it seems like a major part of the International Space Station's mission is conducting scientific experiments. Were there any experiments that you were involved with, with that were particularly unusual or, or interesting? Oh, yeah. At, at any time on board the International Space Station, there's hundreds of experiments going on. And, and I always categorize there's three different types of experiments in my mind. Uh, there's one where the crew is the experiment. You know, NASA is looking at how your body changes or NASA is studying, uh, you're doing blood draws on yourself so that you could send blood samples down to, uh, down to earth for, for future analysis. They're looking, they're measuring how your body's changing. You're, they're doing ultrasounds on the crew to see how their, uh, their bones and their muscles are, are changing. So the crew is basically the experiment. The second type is where the crew operates the experiment. That's where we are basically like uh, technicians where we're executing the experiment and the scientists are on back on earth and mission control. And very often you're talking to them real time. And those are the ones where we, the crew members usually enjoy those the most because you're talking with the scientists. And this experiment is so important. The scientists may have been planning this experiment for 10 years of their career. And now finally you're up there executing it and you just, you get a lot of enthusiasm from these folks and you really want to do a good job because it's so important to them. And so it's really a pleasure to work with them and provide them good, uh, you know, a good experiment and good results for their experiment. Uh, so I enjoy those the most. And then the third kind of type of experiments are ones where really we're not involved at all. At all. It could be that an experiment's mounted outside the space station. We don't have any interactions with it but we are maintaining the space station. We're making sure the space station has power and cooling and, and all the things, the facilities are up and running so that this experiment can continue to be supported. Uh, again, my favorite kinds are the ones where you're working with the, uh, with the scientists on the ground. And the one, two experiments I, I remember the most, one, the ones I liked the best were where we got to burn things in space, where we had a glove box and we would change the environment, the mixture of oxygen and nitrogen and we would burn various materials and we would look at the flames, you know, and flames in space make a sphere. They don't do like a, like a candle flame like they do on earth, They're, they make a sphere. So just watching that was, was incredibly interesting. And then the second one was where we, uh, they sent off a box of ants in space and we would open up these little compartments and we watched the ants go off and forward forage for, for food. And, and kind of look at the patterns and how ants would go off and look for food. And that was just fun to watch the ants uh, kind of floating around. Some of the ants are, are out of control and some of the ants are just kind of scared and hanging on tight. So kind of like astronauts.